Hi there guys, my name's Action Dan and welcome to my next video. In this video I'd upgraded my Mini 1 drone to the Mini 3 Pro. The Mini 1 is the absolutely perfect beginner drone, but its biggest weakness is dealing with strong headwinds. So no longer being worried about losing the drone, knowing I was going to sell it anyway, I took the biggest risk of this drone's life and took it out into the strong ocean headwinds and see if this drone will survive. Let's find out right after my intro video. This is only the Mini 1 drone which is starting to get quite old now and it was an extremely dark and cloudy day with no colour at all. But messing around with the brightness, the contrast and the colour grading on my video editing program, you can still see that even just using this old now Mini 1, the picture quality still just turned out beautiful. About the only downside for the Mini 1 that I definitely won't miss, as you can see from the wobbling in the video in a second, is the Mini 1 is definitely the least stable with dealing with heavy winds. The island that the drone is flying around is called Grana Island. It's one of South Australia's most popular tourist spots. I remember getting on this old horse-drawn tarp when I was only something like four or five years old back in the 90s, early 90s. They've also broken down the original walkway bridge you can see on the right and they upgraded it with a new modern one on the left. The biggest downside to the Mini 1 I would say is it doesn't have that much of a top speed and it's not very strong at dealing with headwinds. In this part of the video right here you can see the drone beginning to wobble like crazy. And now it's just completely breaking even with the headwind and it's not going anywhere, it's not travelling forwards any further. So I tried bringing the drone down low, close to the water to see if that will get rid of the headwind so I could fly along the ground and get over the island, that didn't work. So I tried lifting the drone up high to get over the island and see if the wind's a little bit different there, but no, the headwind was just too much. battery life of the Mini 2 and the Mini 3 isn't much better but it's still getting there progressively. The longest flight you pretty much ever get on a Mini 1 before you're forced to land is about 18 minutes and the maximum sort of flight time you'll get on the Mini 3 before you're forced to make a landing is about 25 minutes. You pretty much get about two thirds of what they say you're going to get. If they say you're going to get half an hour the truth is you get more like 20 minutes. So anyways guys, that's about the end of my video. If you're still deciding what drone you're going to get for your first drone, I recommend get this one, the Mini 1. There's lots of things that are better in the Mini 2 and the Mini 3, but they're two and three times the price and you still get about 70 or 80% of the capabilities of the Mini 1 as you get with the other two drones. So they're definitely not worth twice or three times the price tag. The third biggest downside I would say with the Mini 1, which if you watch this video again and rewind and look carefully, is you do so have to constantly adjust the uh, color saturation, the color tone, uh, the contrast and stuff like that which is much more stable and consistent on the Mini 2 and the Mini 3. Action. 
the time, the greatest hero of the all. Well, that's it guys, I hope you liked my video. If you did, please repay me by clicking on like and maybe even that subscribe button. See you next time.